This is A game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. What's going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support the platform. Much love, and we are back with another video. And in this video, I want to give my perspective on the statement that's going around about black men having to wait for women to so-called come around and realize that they made the wrong decisions in life and you know they should have just listened to what the men said i'm gonna go another direction with this because as y'all know here on sheep stay sleep tv i'm all about black male agency and on this channel it is about black men being being their own agency and black men understanding that so regardless to whoever choose to not deal with us on a certain level whether it be black women who i mean who cares at this point who cares and what i want to let brothers know is what are we waiting for i want to ask what are we waiting for? I want to start off by asking the question, what are black men waiting for? Why are you waiting for black women to do anything? Why are you waiting for anyone to do anything for you or in your name or whatever? Why are black men waiting for anything? Why? What are we waiting for? That's what I want to know. Why are we waiting for anyone? I want y'all to let me know down in the comment section. Because I notice these narratives that, that go around on social media, black men are quick to take to. You know, we're, we're real quick to take to these narratives and, and embrace them as if these narratives actually are in support of us. <clears throat> excuse me, as if these narratives are in favor for who we are, and they're not. You see, because if black men understood the problems that we're currently dealing with, we don't have time to wait for anyone. We don't have time to wait for no savior. We don't have time to wait for nobody that's going to say, listen, I got you. And, you know, all of that's good. That's cool. If somebody want to help, we, we accept help. But we're not sitting around waiting on help. We're not sitting around waiting for someone to say here. You know why? Because black men are fighting homelessness. Black men are fighting not having a job. Black men are fighting not being educated. See? This is what black men are fighting. Black men are facing not being able to be around their children. Black men are faced with being killed or sent to jail every goddamn day. Every damn day they wake up. See, with these things plaguing black men, the persistent barriers to wealth, these types of things that we're plagued with, we don't have time to be waiting on nobody. Man, the way things is set up now, Black men, we got to we got to work on having multiple streams of income. So even if you got a regular job, you still got to do things to have money coming in. Cuz we don't have time to wait. We don't have time to wait on nobody. So what is this? You know, let's wait 20, 30 years to see 
if these women get it right and let's sit back and, you know, wait to see them suffering years down the line. Man, who cares? With all these different goddamn variants coming out, who knows if some of us may even be here in the next 20 or 30 years. We better wake up. Sitting around talking all of this, you know, this outdated shit. Men are taught to, and men are supposed to be taught to oppose environment. So with all of these things going on, we are supposed to come up with a plan to be prepared to go against these obstacles as men, as black men. This is what we're supposed to be focused on, not focused on what's going to happen to women 20, 30 years from now. You see, because that don't do shit for us. That don't shit, that don't do shit for us individually or collectively. What women are going to do is what they're going to do. That has nothing to do with us, brothers. So what are we sitting around talking about? Oh, we just need to sit back and wait and see of uh, the, the results. No, we need to be getting up every day working toward getting the best results for our own lives as men. See, brothers, you got to understand, leadership is not forced. It's not. It's not. So let them do what they're going to do. And, and they're going to reap what they've sown. And if you're around to see it, cool. If you're not, cool. But guess what? Who cares? They don't even care. They know that they're going to have to deal with the consequences of their decisions, but they're still going to make those choices. So why are we sitting around so goddamn concerned with that? Stop worrying about other grown adults who choose to make the decisions that they make in their life. Because whether male or female, we all have our own choices that we make, brothers. We can't forget that. And sitting around trying to condemn women for their choices and trying to wait so we can condemn them so they can say, oh, you were right. Like that's going to change something for us. It's not. It's not going to make us healthier. It's not going to make us more money. It's not going to it's not going to make us smarter and more educated. That's not going to do any of that. Will it will it help it? Will it enhance those things? Yes. That's why a woman is called to help me. You see. But outside of that. Come on, brothers. A woman shouldn't make you or break you. Because you a man. Because at the end of the day, even your mother, she birthed you, but she didn't make you a man. And when you get to a certain age in your life, that's how your mother's going to judge you. You're always going to be her son, but you're a man now. And she's going to look at you as a man. You're her son, but you're a man also. So, brothers, don't forget this. Are you sitting around waiting on your mama? Huh? A lot of us came from moms who've been through a lot of things. A lot of us, a lot of our mothers are gynocrats. So are you sitting around waiting for your mother to become the man that you want to be? Are you waiting for her to change? So she could miraculously start treating you better? Because she didn't treat you a certain way when you was a child. But now you 35, 40 years old, man. If that stuff didn't break you, it didn't make you. So did you sit around and allow 
which your mama's shortcomings make you who you are? Did you sit around and wait for her? So why are you sitting around waiting on some other female? Why are you sitting around waiting on another woman to change? Hmm? Think about that, brothers. Black men, we don't need to be waiting for nothing. Every day we wake up with the constant threat of extinction. So let's get up every day and let's work toward becoming the best versions of ourselves that we want to be. And that's spiritually, that's health-wise, that's family-wise, that's your appearance, that's your home, that's your mobility, how you're able to move out here in the world, that's being more educated, that's being better in your professional life, being a better colleague, being a better boss, that's in your leisure, and that's in your wealth. That's in all areas of your life. So we don't have time to be waiting on somebody to change. Because we waking up every day changing ourselves. Because we got to remember leadership is becoming. It is becoming. So every day we get up and we work toward becoming. That's what we need to be focused on. So get down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think. I appreciate y'all for tuning into the video. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I drop some new content right here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to all of the visionaries. Much love to the A-Game Nation. Catch y'all on the next video. Peace. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects.